one hour later. The next day. One eternity later. I installed the uh, Mega Squirt on the Miata. I didn't film much of it because I just wanted to get it done, but I did film a few clips and posted it on Instagram. So I'll probably insert those clips here. So pretty much I installed the ECU inside the glove box here. I can close it and open it as I want. Um, yeah, it was a rat's nest. You'll, you'll guys see in the pictures that I took. Anyways, so there's a few things that I need to fix on this tomb because the idle was really high. Now it might run rough a little and some smoke might come out of the tailpipe. And so I think one of the main things maybe is injector size. Okay, so here I found it under engine and sequential settings. So injector size for the Miata is not too, oh, by the way, I downloaded a base map. Uh, it's just to get the car started, but it is not 205 for the stock injectors. It's uh, it's like 230. Well, at least it should be like brand spanking new, but I'm not sure what my the actual value on my Miata is, but I'm gonna say 230. Engine size is definitely not a two liter. 2000 cc is two liter. It's a 1.6, but really it's like uh, I googled it earlier. Let me see what it is. 1598 cc my whole life has been a lie so then it's a four cylinder four stroke i'm gonna go ahead and burn this all right now i need to calibrate the my afr sensor Ow. and it actually has the option of choosing a sensor mine is a aem 30 dash it should be 41 30 dash 4110 but there's not that option so i'm gonna just choose 30 dash 42 wait a minute and then I'll click right to controller. Who are you? So here's what the uh, air fuel ratio table is. Yeah, this was what came with the base map. So you can see here the red part is the lean section. Uh, down here is the RPM. So I'm not going to mess with any of these values because I'm not pushing boost or anything. So I don't have to worry too much about being lean everywhere else. Now it might run rough a little and some smoke might come out of the tailpipe. Like I don't have to worry about this section going lean or anything. It wouldn't be too detrimental to a naturally aspirated, especially the 90 horsepower Miata. All right, so now let's start it and see how it runs. Earlier, uh, the clips that I showed you, it showed the first start and it was running like crap. So now let's see. You can see the uh, where it's running right now on the air fuel ratio, which seems off. far is reading like 13.1 13.2 it's about right yeah they're pretty close the air fuel ratio on the on here and the, what's actually being read I'm just gonna let it warm up and then see how it runs in a bit once it drops to a, a, a idling rpm like around 860 rpms or so right now it's warming up okay now that the O2 sensor warmed up a bit you can tell that the it's running pretty lean right now 15.7 and it's showing about 15.7 on the chart so I'm gonna let it warm up completely and then um, maybe test drive it I'll see maybe I'll have to adjust the fuel a little bit but we'll see in a bit so the idle is a bit high even after warm up we're sitting at like 1200 rpm similarly here so I'm just gonna adjust the uh, throttle valve I'm gonna lower it a little bit and see if uh, hopefully that doesn't mess with anything under load but we'll see so just from that I lowered it a tiny bit let me lower it some more I'm trying to get it to like 860 around there okay I'm gonna lower it some more It's going down. I need to lower it even a little bit more. It's going down even more. Here, 
here also. We're almost there, just a little more. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but I already adjusted the timing and stuff through the uh, mega square and all that. That was a little annoying, but whatever. I have to get down, I guess. So now we're at about 860. It's jumping around a little, but that's okay. So that was just kind of a quick update. I only have so much time to dig, but pretty much um, I ran the O2 sensor. Here's the watch, the harness. It goes through up here, the connector, and then through the firewall right here, and then the signal here, and then the ECU. I put it in the glove box here. I can close this when I'm done tuning. Just tuck the wire inside here. You can see the harness there. It's pretty low key, and it keeps it away from like the foot well so people aren't kicking it but yeah we'll see what i'll show you guys next once maybe on the next one we'll show you guys how it drives and then mid to street tune let's see how it goes peace